Take three. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm going to show you how to install our clone on your um, on your Mac. This is very very beneficial for um, users that would like to not pay certain apps for access to mount your Google Team Drive or your Backblaze, and this will allow you to mount these drives to be used as local storage. Um, so first thing you want to do is download something called OS, OS X Fuse. So you can just go to Google and type in OS X Fuse. Yes, you can Google it. I will post um, this link to this website in the description. You'll download and install that. Next up, we're going to go to Terminal. So we'll go to Terminal here. And we're going to post this first script into Terminal. It's going to download download it once it's done downloading it only takes a second we're going to unzip it with that that makes it unzipped then we're going to use this to install it then we got to type in our password and then i'm going to run this last command and this would just delete you know the installation file since it's already installed now boom so now that's now we're if we're installed we've deleted the installer um and we're ready to go. So if you type in our clone config, it brings up the config. Luckily, it's, if you already, you can use this to update. So you can run this script at the top to update at any time. You can run our clone um, after reboot. It auto, it's always here, it's always ready to go. So we're gonna type in our clone config and we're gonna create a new, right? We're gonna create a new config right here. It might be blank for you all, obviously, because you don't have any configs. So we're gonna hit in for new. We're gonna name this Google, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine as Google 4. So these are all the sep different um, services that you can integrate with our clone. And you can run multiple, all these at the same time. You can mount all these drives at the same time. There's no limit. Um, so Google Drive is number 13. So we're gonna go down to the bottom under storage and we're gonna type in 13. For client ID, we're gonna leave blank. Client secret, we're gonna leave blank. We want full access, so I'm gonna put one root folder ID, no, blank, blank. Edit advanced config, no. Use auto config, yes. So after you hit yes right here, it's going to bring up your Google um, a web browser for you to authenticate your account. You're gonna hit allow. It's gonna say success. Configure this as a team drive. We're gonna hit yes. It is now gonna list all your all your team drives on your account so these are my three team drives that i have uh yes i am a plex user yes this is how i get my stuff i cannot show you where or who or know where i got it but these are some google drives so i'm gonna hit uh i'm gonna do the audiobooks one so i'm gonna hit one so i'll give you a token blah 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 we're gonna hit y for yes and then as you can see it's already created google four and then we're gonna hit quit Boom. So now we need to mount that drive onto our um, computer. Now that's where OS6 um, fuse come in at. So we're gonna type the command our clone config. No, our clone, sorry, our clone mount the name of the name of the remote, which is Google 4. And we're gonna hit space. Now you have to also choose where you want to mount it. Two. So it's best to have a test folder or a folder you know you want to mount it to. So I have this test folder in my home, uh, my home folder. So I'm just going to drag it in here. So it's going to I clone mount Google Four to my test folder. So I'm going to hit enter, and as you can see, Google Four is now the test folder has changed to Google Four, and now I can log in, browse, do whatever I need to do, use it just like I normally would. Um, now, now the next thing I would like to do to really, um, uh, drive everything home, I like to create a new script, a new script. So we're going to, um, we're going to bring a new script editor. It's called script editor. You can just search script editor and type it in. We're going to, uh, I'm going to leave all this down below. So I'm just going to actually copy and paste mines in. So... It will look like this, except you will need to change where it says do script. You will need to change that script to whatever you put here to mount your folder. So this way, you it will automatically run and exit terminal and uh, mount the drive 
for you on whenever this application is ran. So we're gonna go file and we're gonna save since I already have it done. I'm gonna save this as test mount and then I'm gonna go to, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. Make sure you save it as an application. Click save and there it is in my application, test, test mount. So we're gonna go now to system preferences and we're going to go to users, which is right there. We're going to go to login items. And we're going to hit add. And we're going to go to the desktop file that we have, test mount, and click add. And you add this to your um, you add this to your login item so that every time your boot your computer reboots, turns off, turns back on, whatever, it will automatically run this script, automatically and automatically mount that folder. So it's, it's basically you forget about it. It's always gonna always be there. And that is how you um, download our clone, mount a drive and set it to auto mount upon restart. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments below and be sure to click the subscribe button. Thank you.